All right, guys. We're Fire away. We got a lot to get through, so go ahead. Fire away. A short week, and I guess Harrison's back was a little tweaked up. He's yeah. Been, how's he doing right now? He, he looked good today at practice. He practiced. Um, you know, he, he had a back spasm, so we're hoping it's not not a serious thing. But you always have to be careful. You know, so I'm sure Beach is going to have some kind of insurance policy, and in, so we'll be we'll be ready to go. The battery between Tommy and Harrison, you know, what have you seen out of there from your vantage point that they can improve upon or something? Maybe? Well, you know, I mean, we made a mistake. I mean, obviously, he dropped the ball. I mean, it happens, it, but it hasn't happened, you know, in a long time, a long time. So it happened. Uh, it seems like um, we've had a lot of things. I mean, not, it's not seems like it. We have had a lot of things. So um, uh, it's just the timing was bad of it, you know, when, when it happened. And, you know, it's, it's something that we don't expect. You know, obviously, it's not going to happen again. Dave, you just said that there's a lot of things that have occurred this season. I'm yeah. Now asking you to look back on your uh, coaching yeah. tenure, but is this perhaps by far, by far the most difficult here? Most things that's ever happened for me in my career. In one uh, season. In one season. Uh, statistically, it's probably the lowest we've been ever, you know, in my career. So, I mean, it's just one of those years. Uh, we have a lot of good football in front of us. That's the way I'm, that's the way I'm talking to the players. I think we've gotten better. You know, when you look at different things, and I've said this before in here about the rookies getting better and better and better, and they are. Um, you know, I really feel like our best football is in front of us. What was the coaching tips adjustment for Kadarius in that situation? Because obviously, you know how good he is. I mean, he's great. He's, first, I mean, he's first thing I if you if you watch his talent on that one particular play, I mean, what how he was able to create on his own because we had a rush call. If you looked at it, we had a rush call, so we're not holding up everybody. So he gets the ball, the ball wasn't kicked great, so he gets the ball in his hand. He starts it left, so he has the ball in his left arm. He quickly cuts to the right, but he doesn't have a, a lot of time to switch the ball back to the right. You know, because if you try to switch the ball back to your right early, you know, all of a sudden somebody hits you. So he, he decided to take off to the right with the ball in his left hand. The guy stripped it out on him. So uh, I think if he would have had one more step, two more steps, he would have had time to be able to get that ball into the right hand, would have been okay. But if you are going to have the ball in your left hand and you're going to the right, you got to really secure it. That's the coaching point. It happened. He, you know, he, he was sorry about it, obviously. He's, he's sick about it because he, I think he would have had a touchdown. I really believe it. It was wide open out there. So, I mean, he's, he's, he is going to make some plays for us down the stretch here, uh, you know, in the playoffs when the games matter most, and they're coming. Something that you always hear is, is north and south with ball carriers, but there are guys like Kadarius that laterally maybe can get more yardage. What's yep. the balance of, of coaching? Well, Kadarius, I mean, he, he actually looks to go north and south quicker than he does going outside. I mean, if you look at all his returns, that it, the touches that he's had, he's, um, you know, sometimes he probably should go outside and he goes inside. So, I mean, it's, he's getting more of a, you know, every rep he gets, he's getting better and he's getting more of a feel and, he's, and, he's, and it's really about trust as a punt returner. It's trust in your blockers. You know, coming out of college, you know, when he did it in, in college, you have to make everybody miss because everybody's on you right now. And he's still got that mentality in his brain right now. Uh, we're trying to uh, get him to trust his blockers, and the NFL is different. The gunners are down there first, but the inside guys aren't. And he trusts his blockers and, and trusts the return and go. And uh, he's got the talent. You know, you can see the talent, and we're going to stick with him. Coach, the hit a block field goal was barely blocked. Tip. Tell them, take us to the line of scrimmage on those. It doesn't seem like people are always trying to block field goals, but someone gets through. Is it just a little lapse, or did, they, did the guy make a really good every, every Every field goal, every, every field goal that's attempted, they're trying to block it. Mm -hmm. Make no mistake. Yeah, it seems like they're not, but they are. If one guy makes a mistake, you know, because it's like, like, like I talked about before about the operation up front. If one guy leans too much and they, they, they happen to be swimming in that gap and the guy gets his hands up and the ball trajectory is perfect, they get get a hand on it, and that's what happens. It was another one of those things that happened, untimely, obviously. Dave, you know, you said you have this, this many things going on in a season. Is there a fine line with the coaching points as far as you know? I mean, you keep co you keep coaching, you keep stressing the same things. I mean, that same things I've been stressing for 22 years, you know, and uh, things happen. I mean, and, and even on great great years, things like that happen. You get a block, you get a, a drop snap. You know, things happen. We just had an unusual amount this year. Um, you know, maybe there's a, the, the football gods are, you know, give us some things here down the stretch. That's what we're hoping for. Dave, you talked about the, the you know, you guys obviously had four fumbles on time returns, but it sounded like you want to make a big play. We had, we had, we had three muffs and we had a, a fumble. Yeah. I'm just saying, there's no changing the aggression for you guys. You guys are still 
And with that, I mean, obviously you could fair catch it. You could just, you know. Well, you could fair catch it. You could drop a fair catch, too. I mean, you know, I mean, you're going to catch the balls. And when you have a chance to return it, you're going to return it. You're not going to just fair catch everything. That's not the answer. You know, so the that's, what I'm saying. The that's not the so answer. Means. That's not the answer. Yeah, the answer is uh, to keep working, trust your guys, uh, secure the football, and, and it's you know it's across the board. We have to do a better job, uh, ball security everywhere. Where, where's your uh, confidence level in uh, Tommy as a holder? Not talking about as a punter now, just as a holder right now. It's good. I'm I'm totally confident in him. Totally. Coach mentioned Kadarius is throwing pretty bad after the muff. Yes. But, uh, for he was Patrick, able to, Andy got right back to him. Well, you know, Andy, Patrick, yeah, I mean, right away. How yes. important was that? Huh? That was, it was huge. And I, I even said that on the sideline. I said, I'm glad you guys went right back to him, you know. And, uh, you know, because we, he went, I went right back to him. I wasn't going to take him out. Last one. Uh, unrelated to this, Devin Hester was named a finalist for the Hall of Fame. He's Thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> one, one of your favorites of all time. Um, just. What about him? What, what about him? God, he's the greatest. I mean, it, you know, hopefully he gets in this year. Obviously, he was up last year in the first ballot. Didn't get it. Hopefully, this year he gets it. I've talked to him before. Um, you know, the, the, uh, they decided last night to, that he made it. Uh, I talked to him during the day, and he was, you know, looking forward to possibly making it to this point again. And he did. So, well, you know, we're all happy. And now it's just a matter of, you know, getting enough votes and, and getting in. I mean, because I'll be there with him when he, when he gets that thing. I'll be sitting right there crying with him. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you later.